Christ is risen. Христос е нестис. Христос е вият. Христос възкреси. Христос зга. Братери и сестри, в Христ е нас рижоси в Господ. Today we celebrate the second Sunday after the great feast of the resurrection of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. Today's Sunday is also called Sunday of Thomas, and for this reason we just heard the gospel from uh, Saint Apostle John, who is giving us account about Thomas who didn't believe in Christ's resurrection. Thomas is also called uh, in uh, many cultures as Thomas unbeliever. But is it indeed Thomas the unbeliever only one among the apostles? If we say that, then uh, for sure we can say also that we never read the Holy Gospel or we never paid attention on what happened exactly when Christ was arrested and was brought to, in the front of Synedion and was crucified. Actually, we read in the Holy Gospel that St. Peter, who said, I will follow you, Christ, even I have to die for you. And the St. Peter, he denied Christ three times. Also, the rest of the apostles, they were scattered. And no, nobody almost remained with Christ by the cross, except uh, Apostle John and the mirror-bearing women. And then, can we say that only... Apostle Thomas was the unbeliever. We also can say, actually, most of the apostles, they didn't indeed believe in Christ um, profoundly because they denied Christ and they didn't follow him up to the cross. Then, after the resurrection, Christ is appearing to the mere-bearing women. Remember also, when Mary Magdalene told Peter that Christ is risen, and he didn't believe. He had to run to the sepulchre with John, and only when he saw the, uh, uh, all those um, shreds with which Christ was um, covered, then he believed that Christ indeed was uh, risen from the dead. And then Christ appeared to them, he entered into, uh, in, through the closed doors, and again they don't believe. They see him with their own eyes, then they don't believe. We hear that they didn't believe because of the joy. And uh, then they told uh, to the Apostle Thomas, the Lord is risen. We saw him. All of us, 11 of us, we, uh, 10 of us, we, uh, we saw him. And uh, Thomas didn't believe. He said, until I, I, he doesn't say, until I see him, but he said, until I put my finger into his uh, um, nail prints, and until I touch his, um, his side, I will not believe. Why then, Apostle Thomas didn't believe? He also was scattered. He thought that since their master was crucified, all the, his mission was, over and is no reason to follow him anymore because he died on the cross. Nevertheless, Christ told them many times, the Son of Man will rise on the third day. But they were blinded by fear. And they forgot about that, that Christ will be will risen from again from the dead. And therefore the angels telling to the mirror bearing and telling to the apostles through them. Go into Galilee, because Christ will uh, appear to you there, as He promised to you. He is reminding them these things. And uh, on the eighth day after the resurrection, because today is the eighth day after the resurrection, number eight, pay attention on this, brothers and sisters in Christ, is the symbol of eternity. This eighth day never end up. Now, from now on, we are living eternal Pascha. We're living eternal Pascha here on the earth every next 52 Sundays uh, before the next Pascha. And we will celebrate Pascha in eternity. And therefore we have to keep that in mind. Every Sunday we come to the church we celebrate Pascha. Now returning back to, to Thomas. 
when uh, they were gathered, uh, uh, 11 of them together uh, in, in the same room, and uh, with the doors shut, Christ again appears to them, and he enters through the closed doors. And uh, right away he's turning to Thomas, come and put your finger in, uh, into my, uh, my nail prints, into my sign, and do not be unbeliever, but believer. And indeed, we, we don't know, indeed, Apostle Paul touched Christ's uh, side and nail pins or not. But only thing he has exclaimed, my Lord and my God. So he believed. He believed that Christ indeed is risen. And then Christ is telling him, you believe because you, uh, you, put your, uh, uh, you saw me. And uh, you, uh, th therefore you believe. But... Blessed is are those who never seen but believed. And now, brethren and sisters in Christ, we have to ask ourselves, do we, do we indeed believe in Christ's resurrection? Do we indeed believe in Christ? In whom actually we believe? If uh, I'll ask you, each one of you particularly, you'll say, yes, I believe in, in God. I believe in Christ. I believe in, in His resurrection. But, we, nevertheless, we have to ask ourselves, do I indeed believe in Christ or not? And why do, why do I believe in Him? Because my parents instructed me, because I was born in an Orthodox country and uh, I had to follow the tradition of the country, or because I indeed convinced myself through my own life that Christ is the true incarnate Lord of God. And here, I want to also to, uh, to mention one thing. It's very important to understand for us in whom do we believe. Some, most of the people on, on this earth say we believe in God. But in whom do we believe, brethren and sisters in Christ? And the answer of the, for this question is given to us by the Apostle Paul who is saying we believe in Christ crucified, stumble block to the Jews and foolishness for the nations. So, our faith, brethren and sisters, in Christ, is in Christ, incarnate Lord of God, who is co-eternal with the Father and the Holy Spirit. And so much God, the Father, loved this world that He has given His only begotten Son, that everyone who believes in Him to have the life everlasting. And we hear these words again today in the Holy Gospel, in the reading of the Holy Gospel. God never seen, no, nobody ever seen. How can we believe in somebody who we never seen? We never seen the Father. We cannot depict the Father on the icons. But we seen Christ who is the image of the Father. Christ himself told to the Apostle uh, Philip, Philip, if you seen me, you seen, you seen the God. So, even we never seen Christ physically, but we seen him in his holy icon and we believe that this icon and this image depicted uh, this depicted image of Christ is Christ himself I mean his image is not Christ himself as a nature but is his image and we believe that he was looking like this and Holy Theotokos was looking like this and uh, uh, Irish Nichols was looking like this and we believe in that and we never can say we never seen Christ we've seen Christ and even more, we not just seen Christ, but we have received Christ in, uh, within ourselves through uh, the communion of the Holy uh, Body and, and Blood of Christ. But also another question which we have to ask ourselves, brothers and sisters in Christ, what it means to believe in Christ? How can I understand that I indeed genuinely believe in Christ? And again, we find answer for these questions where? In the Holy Gospel. What Christ is saying, in vain you are saying, Lord, Lord, if you don't respect my commandments. So here is the key answer for our question. Everyone who respects the commandments of Christ is believing in him and is having faith in him. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we celebrated the resurrection of Christ last Sunday. The great Lent was over. 
And we, with joy, received the glad tidings of the resurrection of Christ. And we were joyful in, the, in that night when we celebrate the resurrection of Christ. But did we indeed feel with our heart that Christ was risen? Indeed we celebrated the resurrection of Christ. Or we just celebrated the end of the great land. Time when we can eat, drink, and be joyful. Of course these things are necessary. But when the great land was over, and we have achieved something in this period of land, we have abstained ourselves from uh, certain things, and we have learned certain things. When land was over, did we put in our mind the idea to preserve all these things which we gained during the great land? If the great land was over and we start again, eating and drinking without abstinence, in vain we kept the, the great land, in vain. Because we haven't learned anything. If we again judge and we again condemn, in, in vain we kept the great land. We just tormented ourselves, we tormented our own body without receiving anything. Therefore, brethren and sisters in Christ, holy fathers, encourage us Preserve that little thing which you gain during the Great Land. Because that is uh, that thing, that small virtue which you were working on it, is just beginning. And we, from the from, uh, uh, first period till the next first period, we have to preserve and again, next first period, again, multiply whatever we have gained in previous one. So, all these things, this is part of our faith in Christ. In gaining virtues, in changing ourselves. Because our goal on this earth is, is to become, uh, by grace and, uh, uh, of the Holy Spirit, and with the help of Christ, to become gods by grace. Similar to God, similar to Christ. But if the great land was over, and we just drop all things and return to previous life which we have before the land. What's the point then? Why we then torment ourselves? It's nonsense. It doesn't make any sense. Therefore, I'm calling you to preserve all these things which we gain during the great land. And strengthen our faith in Christ. And this strengthening is coming also by participating in the Holy Liturgy every Sunday. Not only for Pascha, not once a year, not randomly, from time to time. But every single Sunday, present here to receive the Holy Communion of the Body and Blood of Christ. Every Sunday to be here, to pre be present here and to listen what are the, the choir is singing. Participate to them. Acknowledge and perceive all those words, beautiful words, all those hymns which we are hearing um, being read at the clearest. And sing together and feel with our own heart that indeed Christ is risen. And this joy may be multiplied within our, ourselves, our, our brethren and sisters in Christ. And let us not be ignorant. Let us not throw away whatever we have gained. With the grace and help of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.